Body bags were horror lies. Hey guys, and welcome back to another review here on Body Bags on the Tuesday Review 1993 Horror Freak Reviews. And this week is week 192, and I'm reviewing. Before I wait, I was going to review this last week for Psychological Horror Week, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to do a review. And pretty much, I really wasn't able to do a review today because I went up some work, but I thought I'd better get out and review. Yeah. So, anyway, Before I Wait was, I believe it was in 2016 and was released to the to the year 2017. Um, I don't think people did watch it behind on the list for 2016, but I'm pretty sure the rest of the other ones are last one for 2017. I mean. So, yeah, anyway, before I wait, he's directed by Mick Flanagan, who also wrote on with Jeff, Jeff Howard. And before I wait, follow this young boy called Cody, and Cody is in and out of foster care, and it, pretty much it is because of when he dreams. His dreams come to life. And now he's been adopted by a um, wife and a husband who have lost their child and want to, I guess, unable to have any more kids, so they adopt the foster child. Um, and and um, so they take Cody in, and at first, you know, he's doing it butterflies. And this will start, this modern mother starts using them to bring back memories of the child that she lost. But soon we start noticing that some of his mind. As we all know, eight year olds have nightmares. I'm going to do this quickly because I just went out of space and delete something. And so they're trying to help him get past all these nightmares and stuff. Um, that was a really excellent explanation, but I'm trying to do this quickly. It's because that I'll delete one thing and next one something else pops up and I'm space. So, anyway. That's really the premise of it, trying to help this kid who's having nightmares and having nightmares and their lives are in danger now because there's all these nightmares. Of course in this film, love this film, I watched this about two or three times now and I've only had a lot of love. Love this film, beautifully shot, um, love the score, butterflies are so bright, the effects and that that we use. Um, you can tell it's CGI of course, but as most of now, it's not even really CGI like it's not full on or anything. Um, just really done well. Shot well. The actor Cody, I forget who plays, does a brilliant job. Um, so cute and innocent in him. As through, he doesn't want to hurt people. And I think it's a lot different to children in horror films as through, they just want to kill people and they're evil. He doesn't want to hurt it and he apologises. The first one is so scared, he doesn't want to lose his people. Everybody else disappeared because of his nightmares. It's him not wanting to hurt them. So I do give this film a 9 out of 10. I definitely do check out Before I Wake. It's a beautifully shot film. Um, I probably will do another review on it over on my channel. Um, just, I don't know. I feel like doing something on this um, a bit more. Talk about it a bit more. Um, and I've just got to work out things with this. But yeah, definitely do check out Before I Wake. Just there's a lot that I can really talk about about it, but anyway, comment below if you have seen before I wake, and if you haven't, go check it out. Alright, see ya.